Well, Ryan, I'm afraid we might be going loony for this one. Well, fast foodies, this is uh, this is a review that I haven't filmed in a minute. Ryan, what are we going to be reviewing today? Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yes, we are going to be reviewing some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And I can't even remember from the last time I reviewed Ben and Jerry's was. It had to be a while back. The reason why I haven't had any Ben and Jerry's lately is because, well, Ben and Jerry's hasn't been coming out with any new flavors until, until right now. I think they've been coming out with like three new flavors. However, um, I've only been able to find this one that I have in my hand right here, which is the brand new Chocolatey Affair. Love Affair. Oh, Love oh, Affair. Love affair. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that Ben & Jerry's is also supposed to be coming out with like a Boston cream pie flavor and a raspberry cheesecake flavor. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and as soon as they do come out, as soon as they hit the shelves at my local Walmart, you better believe I will be posting a review of them right here on the Fast Foodies. So to make sure they don't miss out, what should they do? Like and subscribe. Yes, go ahead and like and subscribe. But now, Ryan, even though it is 12.30 in the morning, are you ready to dig into some ice cream? It's 12.30 in the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little tired. I had a, had a long morning this morning, but it's 12.30 in the afternoon. I always get to mix that. It's, it's, and 12... it's, it's actually 1.15. Man. What? Close enough. <laughs> I need some more sugar in my life, yeah. obviously. <laughs> um, but uh, before we get into it, let, really quickly, let me give you guys a quick description. So this is a chocolate ice cream with salted caramel swirls, caramel chunks, and sea salt fudge chunks. And now this flavor is actually in collaboration with, you guys can see right there, the chocolate bar, Tony's Choco Looney. Have you had that before? I have not. No, have I, don't, I think so. I think I may. I think it's just a regular chocolate bar, but I think they had different flavors. Okay. Um, I'm not sure though, but uh, I, I know I love chocolate, caramel, sea salt, all the above. This guy, you're not the biggest caramel fan, right? Yeah. Um, it's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah. If it's like a Snickers, I'll like it. Okay. But if it's like too much caramel, yeah. um, <clears throat> not now, not my biggest. Do you like your Snickers? Like, how do you eat your Snickers? Like frozen in the fridge or just straight? Um, I can do either frozen or regular. I had this conversation at work with some uh, coworkers and they were saying they don't like Snickers in the freezer because it gets too hard. Like the caramel inside gets too hard. But like personally, I like them in the freezer. My uncle, yeah. he also does it in the freezer. But yeah, they were saying like, if it's like a chocolate bar, they prefer it in the freezer. But if they have something like caramel, then they don't like it in the freezer because the caramel gets too hard. But enough of that today, we're gonna be reviewing this. So let's get on to it. Um, you got your... All right, so this is what it looks like. Just chocolate, but I assume that they're gonna be mixing, so you wanna? Go first. Yeah. Oh, so this is an inspired by their friend at Tony's Chocolatey. So they've been trying to uh, create an ice cream that uh, encompasses the chocolate bar. Gotcha. So there you go. All right, go ahead. Okay, here's one of the myths, and I'm not sure. Yeah, I just got straight chocolate, so mm -hmm. I liked it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, getting two different vibes here. I'm getting one vibe from that picture there, which is uh, showing lots of caramel in chunks, I mean, as you guys can see. And then I'm getting a completely different vibe from the ice cream yeah. itself, yeah. which is, as Ryan mentioned, I mean, Straight chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, you can keep digging around. Maybe it's like you got a bad spoonful. Oh, here's here's one chunk. You guys can really see. But I'm not surprised. You see, Ben and Jerry's comes correct with mixing, but yeah. I just got straight chocolate on this. Yeah, too, so. I'm getting it's like almost 90% ice cream. 10% mix, if, if that. I'd yeah, say, I'd say less, like 5% mix. Yeah, mix. yeah. This is, uh, maybe there'll be more in the bottom of the pint, but because we are high performing athletes, we're not gonna be eating an entire <laughs> pint for lunch today. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like this has potential, but I'm definitely a little bit disappointed. Yeah. It's definitely not a Snickers. I'd rather have a Snickers. Yeah. Yeah. 
Want to go have a Snickers? <laughs> yeah, we, we should. All right, let's give this a rating first. So, uh, you ready? Um, yeah. Three, two, one. Seven, seven and a half. There you guys go. Hope you guys. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I mean, I I give it like a six and a half based on if it was supposed to be like that, but yeah. the actual taste of it for me. Yeah. See, I think this is. I was going into this review thinking I was gonna like it more. Yeah. And I think if it was as we both believed it was gonna be, I would like yeah, this more. Uh, but because sure. it's not, then yeah. It um, makes sense. Yeah, that does. So, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. But I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> this review. Hopefully, the this, this uh, for being the first new Ben and Jerry flavor, I think I reviewed of the year. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm still gonna finish it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll right, see you guys later. I would go well on like a, a smoothie or something like a milkshake. Yeah. Yeah. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review.